Professor Darlene Libber. I'm an Associate Professor at the University of Cape Town in South Africa. And I'm here at this Rhino Egypt conference to talk about transorbital surgery. And that means using the eye socket as a natural corridor or pathway to certain parts of the sinuses, to the eye, and to certain parts of the brain. And this allows us to avoid a traditional approach, which would be a, which would be a craniotomy, where a patient would be have an incision from one side to the other side of the um, ear um, and have a part of their skull removed. So certain parts of the brain can be accessed um, by pushing the eye to the side and then sliding um, a, a camera called the endoscope between the eyeball and the eye socket, um, removing a little bit of bone we can then access certain parts of the brain um, and thereby avoid big incisions. Um, the other advantages are that the recovery is so much quicker, patients go home um, within a day. Um, specific lesions that can be addressed with this approach is uh, people with eye tumors or eye masses, whether it's benign or malignant, um, brain tumors, specifically meningiomas, swinoid wing meningiomas, um, and then the mini sinus pathologies.